Virginia Today at 6, working for you. A fire impacted the lives of many Vinton residents last night. How the town is coping. And the 4th of July is tomorrow. How you can stay safe if you're heading out on the water. Plus, many are skipping the fireworks this year. The new light show hitting the skies. Good morning, everyone. Thank you for joining us this Sunday. I'm Lindsay Kennett. Welcome back. Thank you, dude. We missed you. It was, <laughs> I miss you guys, too. It was a lot of work yesterday. A lot of heavy lifting. You missed a lot of breaking news, but we're glad that you're back here. I'll do the heavy lifting today. Thank you, because you, you got to do a lot of work today. you got a lot of work <laughs> ahead of you. we got two hours to get through it. So while we give you a break, we're going to toss it over to our meteorologist, Justin McKee, who always, you know, he worked while you were you, you yeah. advancing on the water as well. <laughs> we know that Lindsay didn't watch the show because she forgot the sunscreen yesterday. I did. Ooh. A little I bit know. of a sunburn Ooh. hanging out at the lake. <laughs> that shade would have been nice to have out yesterday. Smart. Well, <laughs> don't don't follow what Lindsay did. Make sure you're wearing your sunscreen today. And also look out for the possibility for some showers and storms. Of course, you may have seen some of those yesterday kind of in the breaks from uh, the sunshine. Right now we are seeing the sun rise over in Roanoke. This is our Virginia Tech Curling Sky Cam. A few clouds around. A mix between partly and mostly cloudy skies for your Sunday. At the moment, we are completely dry. It looks like kind of the same time frame as when we saw showers and storms yesterday. Uh, the afternoon going to be the favored places, and it does look like the favored location is going to be closer to the North Carolina Virginia border. Those places in this numerous category for the chance for rain and storms, about a 60% chance. If you live in Roanoke, Lynchburg, or the Highlands, you're looking at a slightly lower chance. Uh, scattered storms for today will put the chances at about 40%. Temperatures starting in the 60s and 70s once again this morning. Roanoke and Lynchburg, the warmest spots right at 70 degrees. Martinsville 65 and then Withville, Hillsville and Blacksburg all matching each other at 66 degrees. The temperatures today likely to peak in the 80s, maybe a couple spots in the low 90s. Does look like our 4th of July will be pretty hot as well, so we'll have those details coming up in just a few minutes. All right, thank you, Justin. And our top story this morning, a few pieces of history are gone in Vinton. Firefighters say yesterday's fire destroyed four apartments, a business, and a beloved music store. And 10 News reporter Alexis Davila shares how the memories made by the community will last. A charred smell lingers on Lee Avenue as Vinton residents stare in shock and devastation. Heartbreak. <laughs> to say it's heartbreaking, this is a... Um... Sorry, Benton is a tight community. Please don't let anybody live there. Early Saturday morning, a fire engulfed a two-story music building and collapsed the roof of the Edward Jones investment business. Four apartments on the top floor were crushed, and eight adults are now without a home. Donnie and Rhonda broke out in tears as they saw what's left of their music business after 39 years. A hundred thousand dollars worth of instruments now destroyed. DR Music Center was Tony Smith's second home as a teenager and the spot where his son took lessons. It's kind of like a punch in the gut, really, because they, these people they are nice people, they're wonderful. Watch their kids grow up here. <laughs> it's a piece of history dated back to 1930. The fire department says the butted multifunctional buildings will take time to clean up and will be demolished. This is rather unique, something we don't see a lot of. Though a gift shop next door faced no damages, Don Sullivan says she feels the owner's pain. We look out for each other and we're family is what I say and you know we all stick together and it's a huge loss to all of us to see them go. Not much was salvaged from the investment building but residents were thrilled when a firefighter rescued an American flag. A reminder that 4th of July is still around the corner. In Vinton, Alexa Davila, 10 News, working for you. A fire officials say three cats passed away in the fire and they say that the cause that is still being investigated. Vinton residents are extending a hand to those displaced families by jumpstarting a donation drive. A bin was placed at the Charles R. Hay to collect clothes, toiletries, food and water. Clothing sizes were posted online by the Vinton Area Chamber of Commerce. Executive Director Angie Tuning said the bins filled up so quickly that volunteers came by every two hours to collect. Some of these folks left with just the clothes on their back. Um, they didn't have time to grab anything, um, so they, they need everything. They lost everything in this fire. The bin will be placed at the Vinton War Memorial today. 
Lynchburg police say two men are now in the Piedmont Regional Jail after a shooting left the 16 year old hospitalized in Lynchburg on Wednesday. The shooting happened just after 10 in the 2200 block of Poplar Street. The Farmville Police Department arrested Richard and Taurus McDaniel after a report of suspicious activity at the Super 8 by Wyndham on Main Street. Lynchburg police say this is an ongoing investigation. New this morning, a judge sentenced a Danville man to seven years in prison for shooting a store manager. A judge found Javon Alonzo Scott guilty for malicious wounding, possession of a firearm by a nonviolent felon, and use of a firearm during commission of a felony. Last July, we told you Danville police arrested Scott after he shot and injured his manager, Daisha Fitzgerald. It happened at American Freight Furniture Mattress and Appliance. Police say Scott worked at the store at the time. Danville Commonwealth's attorney said when the manager tried to get away, Scott continued shooting at him. Liberty University is coping with the loss of one of the people who helped build the foundation of the school. Dean Emeritus, Dr. Ed Henson, died yesterday. He worked for the university for 48 years and taught over 100,000 students. Dr. Henson was Dean Emeritus at the John W. Rawlings School of Divinity and a distinguished professor of religion. He was named Teacher of the Year numerous times throughout his career. Conservation police are reminding boaters to have fun on the water this holiday weekend, but dial back on the trash. They say not to pollute waterways by tossing food wrappers or alcoholic beverage cans in the lakes and rivers. Sergeant James Slaughter says in the past they tackled the issue of people bringing fireworks on the boat. He says that could send a boat up in flames. You have to be aware that there's a lot of flammable materials on boats. Um, you know, fiberglass, uh, gasoline, and so it's not safe to be discharging without, you know, the proper uh, setup. Slaughter says if you are watching any firework shows, check if your navigational lights are working before you go. And speaking of the 4th of July, many Americans are opting out of fireworks for this July 4th for something a little bit more high tech. Drone shows are beginning to grow in popularity, especially out in the West where fire dangers are high. Recent data also shows that firework costs are up 35 percent due to inflation and supply chain issues. It used to cost about eight to ten thousand dollars to ship a container of fireworks. And today we're looking at thirty five to forty thousand dollars. Drone company UAV say they are booked up this holiday weekend. They are also excited to see how drone based light shows advance in the future. Virginia Senators Mark Warner and Tim Kaine are celebrating the surrender of around 4000 dogs. This is from Envigo breeding facility in Cumberland County. The facility was cited numerous times for animal welfare violations that Warner and Kane both called upon the Animal and Plant Health Inspection Service to respond to. The senators released a joint statement following the announcement saying, quote, after months of advocacy, we're heartened to know that nearly 4,000 Invigo dogs will be spared a lifetime of suffering and will instead head to loving homes. The dogs will be transferred to the Humane Society of the United States, which will work to house the animals. Both senators are co-sponsors of the Puppy Protection Act, which amends the Animal Welfare Act to provide additional care and safety standards for dog breeders. Looking ahead to stories making headlines next week, the Pulaski County Board of Supervisors and the Pulaski County Courthouse Exhibits Committee will present a new veterans exhibit. You can see it on the third floor of the old Pulaski County Courthouse Monday, tomorrow. It's called Remembering the Sacrifices for Freedom. The exhibit will feature donated items from veterans and their families from various wars. The presentation starts at noon. The city of Radford will host its July 4th celebration in Bissett Park at 1 p.m. Monday. Organizers will have live music, craft and food vendors, children's games and fireworks. The Salem Fair continues at the Salem Civic Center. Fun time for the family. It's America's largest free gate fair and attracts thousands each year. The fair is from 4 p.m. to 11 p.m. during the week, and it takes place from noon to 11 p.m. on the weekend. You have until July 10th to enjoy 14 acres of over 40 rides. 
Danville Parks and Recreation will hold its annual July 4th celebration starting at 6 p.m. at the Carrington Pavilion Monday. The celebration will feature free entertainment and arts and crafts. The fireworks show will begin at dusk and it's free to attend. And Roanoke Parks and Recreation alongside the Berglund Center will host a Freedom First Festival. The event is co-sponsored by Freedom First Credit Union and will take place at Elmwood Park from 11 a.m. to 6 p.m. A fireworks display will take place at Rivers Edge Park at 9.30 p.m. Attendees can also expect live music and activities for the entire family to enjoy. Coming up, it looks like plenty of hot dogs and hamburgers will be on the menu tomorrow. The best practices to keep in mind when cooking. And a Ben and Jerry's in Rhode Island has a new owner. How long he's been scooping ice cream. And if you're looking to get out on the water for the rest of the holiday weekend, I would say the 4th is a better day than today. We're going to be dealing with some storm chances once again, so we'll break down where those storms are going to be. That's coming up after the break.